Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to help you explain how you can trace a simple diagram into PowerPoint and make a good good schematic out of it. This video is going to be in three different parts, which is the first I'm going to show you how you can make it, and then I'm going to show you how you can animate this diagram. So this is a big video, so I'm going to make it in two parts. The first part is this one, which I will show you how you can make this a schematic diagram, and then I will show you how you can make an animation on this diagram in the next video tomorrow or some other day. So first of all, I'm just going to go in the uh, icons, shapes. I'm going to take this set and make it a chimney for myself. So now I'm going to remove the color and remove the background, just add an outline. Then I'm going to add another shape so that can, so we can have a perspective of how does it look from inside. So now this is the pump. I'm going to make a pump here. And as you can see, you can reduce the size of the pump as per your choice or whatever you want. Then you can use a simple line and start tracing according to the background lines. So this helps you uh, trace the figure that you can see at the background it helps you easily see what you're doing the benefit of using small lines is that you can use small lines as much as many as you want and you can trace the figure perfectly the way you want so I will show you the example what I'm trying to say is that once you make an image you can copy once I make an image using lines you can copy them as a group and then paste it as a picture so when you make them in a small line they are in a separate file they are in separate portions but when you paste them as an object or paste it as a picture it becomes a one file so that means it makes it very easier for you to drag it or move it anywhere you want so that's the benefit of using lines so now what I'm doing is I'm just using the shapes like a bracket and a small simple line tool I'm just making and tracing the whole figure the figure does look too uh, bright and you cannot see the lines as much as uh, as you should see actually but the thing is that the point over here is that you need to trace it so you can just simply draw the lines over it and just try to um, put the lines on the lines exactly you don't have to be too exact you just can make a small uh, uh, small uh, how, how to say it? you can just draw simply for example in this uh, figure there are some pipelines which have a curved edge you don't have to make that curve exactly the same you can just make a simple line because we are just using line tool so it makes it easier for us to make a, a straight line instead make uh, instead of making a round line so what i'm doing right now is that i'm making pipelines which are coming from the up and going from the down the reason why i'm not showing from the middle part is that i want to show a perspective that the pipe is going from the back side not from the front side so that's how the, that's what i'm doing right now so now just tracing simply the sim by using simple lines up and down and then I'm trying to see how it looks. So once I make it in a deep, uh, in the full zoom position, I try to zoom out a little bit so that I can see what's actually, uh, how is my picture actually looking like. So right now you can see that I'm just using straight line instead of using curved lines to make it a uh, little bit more simpler. This diagram is a bit complicated, but if you want to make it simple, you can reduce the size or you, re you can reduce the number of pipelines inside. So that, that all depends on you or your requirement or whatever you like. So now what I'm doing is that I'm just making and tracing the simple outlines and after tracing a simple outline of some part, I'm showing you in detail this part because it is a little bit difficult for some people to understand how it's done. So I'm just making a little bit more slower for the people who are new in this field and can learn more easily. So I'm just trying to make it as slow as possible to uh, also save time and also uh, also make it uh, as much ex uh, do as much explanation as possible. So right now what I'm doing is uh, I'm just using this picture uh, as a object which is like I copy this and paste it as a picture and then I'm just slightly adjusting the line so that I, got, I actually wanted to increase the thickness so I'm now adjusting the position how it looks like. So now after every time you draw a picture, you can paste it as an object if you want because if you don't want your lines to scatter much, you can paste it as a picture because that's going to be one part instead of being several parts as I showed you before because we are using a lot of things inside. So now what I'm doing is you can see easily, it all depends on you how you want to do it. For example, I use the rectangles, I use the simple lines. I could have also made a small box using the uh, simple lines but I prefer using rectangle because it's much more simple, simpler and not too complicated. So right now you can see the rough look, how does it looks like and also you can see that the details are too much small and the picture is also a little bit blurry so uh, I'm just doing uh, based on uh, some uh, idea and just making a perspective for the what exactly it looks like so yes it takes time 
Uh, it almost took me two hours to do this. Uh, these uh, things are a little bit small, so you need to focus a little bit. Also, you can do is that you can make a pipeline using a rectangle, or you just you just want to be straight, straight ahead, like not go in too much detail. Then you can just simply use a, a small rectangle and make it a pipeline, as I will show you in the later part in this video. So, guys, if you have any problem for this one, you may leave your comments down below and ask me how to do it. Uh, but actually, it's not too difficult. But still, if you have questions, please leave down in the section below. Right now, I'm doing the small parts and just covering the outlines of the uh, this uh, combustor. Combustor. I'm going to add a different animation in this one tomorrow. So uh, I will be leaving this file in a drop down drop down list in the description. You can download from the uh, Google Drive. And what you can do is that you can try doing animation by yourself and see if it works for you or not. I'm going to be doing one animation by myself also tomorrow. I'm going to show you how I did the animation and what else we can do in this picture. We, there are a lot of opportunities to do uh, in the, with this picture, like do a lot of animation, like process, uh, or like fire and the cold pulverization or the small particles, uh, like crushing and all that. There are a lot of things you can do with this one, but it depends on what is your requirement and how detailed your process or how detailed you want to go in this animation. So guys, I'm just going to explain you the basic steps. So right now, there's no, not much to explain in this one because I'm just using simple lines as I showed you before. I'm copying it, pasting it, and then just using it for the other parts. Right now, actually, I'm just tracing the figure or uh, just based on the outlines given in the picture. Simple tool, use lines and just draw them. Reduce the size and increase the size. Normally, the size when it gets too small, it's difficult to increase or decrease. So you can increase or decrease the length of the lines on the top right corner. You can see the height and the width. You can just double click on the line and then that, that section opens up and then you can change the size of the lines because when it gets too small, it's really difficult for you to manage. So what you can do is that you can change uh, directly from the top, uh, top panel on the right hand side. It shows height and width. You can change from that. So now you can see we have a little bit uh, image and we can see that how it actually looks like. Uh, it's not uh, too complicated, very easy diagram to make, very easy to uh, do also. You can just, you need to be patient and just need to have good eyes. Not, <laughs> I'm just joking. You don't have to have good eyes, you just have to be uh, be patient because this diagram needs a lot of, a lot of details. Uh, and again, it depends on you. A lot of details, but it's like uh, uh, when you are drawing something, you have a perspective in your mind, like you are thinking how you are going to present it. So keep those things in your mind when you are drawing or you when you are making a diagram, so that it will help you explain. So now I'm just uh, downloading an icon from the icon set. So this is a truck which actually shows that I'm taking coal from some place, and then I'm putting the coal in these hoppers, and then these hoppers put the coal on the on the conveyor belt, and then the belt takes the coal from from the conveyor belt to the main hopper which goes to the combustor okay so now the things are quite simple everything is already explained so first thing is make an outline so when the outline is done you are pretty much uh, covering almost the 70 to 80 percent part of the schematic diagram then you need to make your diagram self-explanatory so how you can do that so you can mark labels on the diagram by placing the num numberings after placing the numbers, what you can do is that you can add the legend for those numbers like uh, I will show you uh, in the end. So right now I'm just using simple rectangle and I'm going to place them and make a path as it goes into the bunker. As you can see, I'm just making it dark so that it can be more visible. So this is just a draft. So I'm going to make it more uh, detailed and more extractive tomorrow in the animation part. So right now it's just a, it's an outline. So when I'm going to add an animation, I'm going actually going to add an animation on an outline because to apply an animation and to make it look like something is entering or something is leaving, you need to have an outline. When you have an outline, you can have uh, different colors uh, variations and you can have different inputs and outputs uh, which can be easily seen on an outline. But if you already make an uh, uh, make a schematic which is already already colored, it's very difficult for you to emphasize on the picture, uh, emphasize on the animation that what is going and what is going out. So right now I'm just making a, a substation which you can see. I'm actually just copying the previous uh, the part that I made before, so I don't have to do it again. So I'm just copying it and using it as a uh, easier tool, and I'm just gonna paste it over here. So now I'm making the generator again, copying and uh, just tracing it and just now making the inner boundaries for the generators and I'm going to make it a little bit big and more clear on a separate slide I'm going to paste it back again 
most of the parts are done uh, as you can see the turbine is done and now the thing the major thing which needs to be done is the after the turbine is that you need to make the uh, condenser lines you need to condense the pipes or heat exchanger pipes and all that that's a little bit tricky i will tell you how to do that so i'm just adding a shaft for the turbine and the generator so actually the steam comes and the steam com uh, steam comes and uh, moves the turbine and then uh, power goes to the generator and gen generates electricity so now just adding small high pressure and low pressure turbines and adding a shaft and just adding small details so that it can look more prominent and attractive so now i'm just using a line or a curve to connect this line I would have, would have used a small line together make a straight line but I preferred making a little bit curved so that it looks a little bit attractive. So now I'm just making uh, this uh, cool water pump so actually it looks like a cooling tower. Uh, actually you can make it uh, the way you want so I'm just using a curved line to show the curvature. You can also find these kind of icons but I prefer to make this one so that it can save time instead of finding it for a long time or converting another shape this one. So now I'm, use, I'm going to make a condenser pipes. So I'm doing it in a separate file so that it doesn't make it too complicated for the in the main file because when uh, when you have a lot of things to do you need to uh, have a open space and empty space so that you can easily manipulate with the things that you have. I'm making a condenser pipe which is going to show you the hot pipe, hot water and the cold water also can show you condenser uh, condenser fluid or other things uh, which can uh, later on be used in animation also. So I'm just uh, adding a slight color. So in this figure the red lines are sh uh, going to show the hot part and, the, the sub and subsequently the lighter color tone in the pipeline is going to show the co cooling a little bit uh, more uh, a little bit more cool part. So now let's uh, put these uh, pipes here. Uh, I just made one, so I'm gonna copy this again and paste it again, and then I'm gonna use uh, this uh, edge or elbow. I'm gonna paste this elbow on the top, and I'm gonna do the same thing for the rest of it. So this uh, network of pipes for the hot liquid or the cold liquid looks too complicated. You can make it simple. You can narrow it down. You can make a simpler one. But I'm gonna make this one for you guys to so that you can see that how you can do it, and you can um, make it depending upon your own choice or requirement. You can either make one pipeline or you can either make two pipelines or whatever you want. But this time I'm doing it for you guys so that you can uh, see what exactly I'm doing. I'm just creating space between the pipes so that it doesn't look too congested. And also once you are done. You can move the background picture and see the differences in the uh, in differences in the pipes. Like either the pipes are connecting together with each other or not, or either the pipelines are are not are pipelines are a little bit moving away from the point where they actually should be. So now what I'm doing is that I'm just connecting the pipelines and lines and putting them on the place so I can make a structure and connecting these pipelines and making these small connectors so that they can show the incoming fluid and outcoming flow. Now you can see that I'm going to make small adjustment and we'll uh, see that all the ends meet at together at the common end and they don't go outside or inside of the boundary. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to repeat these steps and I'm going to do the similar thing for the uh, boiler feed pump pipelines uh, which is actually uh, showing the coolant which is going from inside from the bottom of the plant to the top and then this is how it works so uh, the arrangement or the the flow can vary or you can make it in a different way you can either make a small way you can make a combustor somewhere else or you can make a turbine somewhere else up or down whatever you like so this is for those people who are new to this field who don't know how exactly to draw some diagram this is for those people that how they can trace an image and how they can make a diagram because it's really hard to think uh, from scratch and to think how they can make a diagram or the best way is to make a small sketch first and once you have a sketch or you have an image in mind or in a rough paper then you can easily make that image into uh, reality by making them by slowly slowly in the powerpoint so now you uh, I hope so that you already have this much uh, uh, understanding that how you can make this uh, uh, pipelines or how you can make the lines or you can just uh, uh, simply connect simple lines and then make them as an object and place them as a picture. So now I'm just uh, working on the small details uh, which is like the pipelines for the cool cool water pump to the uh, to the how to say I, I, I just forgot the name cooling tower and then you can connect these uh, pipelines with the pump and uh, after you connect with the pump you can just uh, make slight adjustments so that it looks like the pipe is coming from the inside instead of coming from the outside like sometimes you put a pipe it does goes outside the actual image which shows that oh okay the pipe is not well connected so you need to show them as as that they are coming properly from the inside of the uh, object and coming going outside 
so now i'm just making small adjustment for the pipes almost the figure is done uh no need to worry so i'm just going to make a small hopper here and uh, after making hopper i'm going to make a small one more hopper and have an empty white space which shows that the top part is empty and the down part is filled so all depends on you how you can create or show the perspective but these are the things that will help you understand that will help you learn and also uh, think a little bit more that how you can innovatively make these diagrams the diagram wasn't difficult but it also wasn't easy it took a lot of time and you can practice it you can do it by your own self so now i'm just doing small small parts so the good thing is that when you are done and when you see the final picture it really makes you happy so this is just a sketch so once you sketch it out you will have an outline for your main diagram so once you have an outline of your main diagram you can add another picture another color on the top of that to show an animation so animations are typically drawn on an outline instead of drawing being drawn on an object because if you have an outline or if you have a colored picture you cannot show an animation more properly you need to uh, more things or something a little bit different from that original picture to make it a little bit different and show the animation working but if you have an empty the outline and you put a color on that one that will really really emphasize the animation to a greater extent mostly the figure is done you can see how it looks like almost done i'm just going to uh, add small things which is like i'm going to add smaller pipes what i'm doing is that i'm making small pipes and then connecting them to one another end and i'm going to arrange them uh, on the top and I'm going to arrange uh, horizontally also distribute horizontally now the figure is done i'm just going to add a gradient to these pipes showing the hot and the cold part as you can see this part is our before and after you can see the previous picture and after picture I'm going to add a small boundary to it to make it look like a schematic i'm going to add a title to this one you can use the title and change to different colors i personally prefer that you use impact for the title right now i'm using calibri font but later i'm going to use an impact font to show how it looks like that's pretty much done for the schematic for the diagram now just adding a legend and uh, the diagram is done i make slight adjustment for the color and to make it look much better and i hope you guys like the video and you got to learn something from this video and uh, now, now the picture is done the schematic is done the outline is done so tomorrow i'm going to add the animation to this diagram to make it look more beautiful and let's see what uh, a, what we can work on and how does it uh, ends up looking like I hope you guys like the video do subscribe my channel leave down your comments and till then take care see you next time Allah Hafiz